sharks are the ocean's primary predators, eating every fish in their path. But what if you ended up in a pool full of them, and you were the prey? What would happen when they smelled your blood? What are your chances of surviving? And how dangerous are these sharks? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you fell into a pool full of sharks. If by some stroke of bad luck you happen to end up in a massive pool filled with a bunch of sharks, here's what you should do. If you fall into the pool during broad daylight, you might be in luck. Generally speaking, sharks feed at dusk or during the night, so they'll be less likely to want to munch on you during the day. Once you're in the water though, the first thing you need to do is remain calm and not make any sudden movements. Not easy, I know, but you're not going to outswim a shark. So what do you do if one comes right for you? First, let's put shark attacks into perspective. They are incredibly rare and you're more likely to get struck by lightning than to get eaten by a shark. Believe it or not, the fact that you're a human is incredibly helpful. You might think it would be easier if you were a fish so you'd be able to blend in, but that's not the case. You see, despite what movies might tell you, sharks don't want to eat you. Sharks are wired to eat other fish and not animals they don't know about. And if you're an average sized human, you're a lot bigger than most sharks. To a lot of them, you might look like something that could hurt them. The only real exception could be a great white shark. They're bigger than humans and not as likely to be afraid of us. But just like other sharks, they're generally only interested in eating other fish. Marine biologists believe most shark attacks are from humans appearing as fish in the water. A surfer's leg dangling off their surfboard might look like a seal to some sharks, especially in rapid waters. So as long as you look like a human, you should be okay. But what if they smell your blood? Even if they do, they may still not eat you. It would be a scent they're not used to and the sharks might not be interested in you. You're more likely to be eaten if the sharks hear that you're in pain. In addition to having an amazing sense of smell, sharks can also hear incredibly well. That's how they catch a lot of their prey. So if a shark hears you in pain, they might quickly come towards you. But that's no guarantee that the shark is going to eat you. Sharks aren't vicious by nature, but they are very curious. If they notice you, they might want to see you up close. If this happens, don't be afraid. They probably just want to see who's in their home. If they do bite you, they might not even know that they're hurting you. You see, sharks' teeth are like our hands. They're what they use to investigate the world. So you may get bitten, not because the shark wants to hurt you, but by accident. One way you might get eaten is if these sharks in the pool aren't being fed at all. Then you'll be trapped with some ravenous sharks desperate for food. If you somehow manage to avoid being eaten by starving sharks, you'll quickly realize how beautiful swimming with sharks can be. Now, what if sharks weren't even something you had to worry about because they all went extinct? Well, that sounds like a story for another What If.